Oh, by the way, we became bouncers off screen. Why, hello everybody, it is me, so you want the Platinum one here? And welcome back to more Let's Play Mother 3. In the last episode, we got here to Club TT Boo and found out that a DCMC concert is about to start. And in this episode, we are going to head to that concert. Now, as promised, again, in the last episode, I did some off-screen training, again, and... Lucas and Boney are now at level 21. And look at that, I have 2011 DP, her <laughs> her. Um, anyways, at level 18, Lucas learns Life Up Beta, so I think it's highly recommended that you at least have Life Beta, Life Up Beta. Trust me. Alright. So, anyways. Shh. Listen, don't change the center of the Yeah, 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 you said all that before, lovely lady Kumatora. Alright. Okay, so, anyways, the next DCMC concert uh, song is about to begin, so I guess we better head in there, shall we? Jeez, nice concert hall. Yeah! <whistles> eee, I love your magic! Back yo! Back yo! It sounds like Axio. OJ! Woo! You're the greatest! Yeah! Lucky! What? Is the party over? Anyways. Wow, you're really late. The DCMC concert's already over. Choo choo. <laughs> Everyone's just waiting for the encore now. Giggle. Okay. So. Tondagasa! That's, ca that's DCMC's catchphrase. In my line of sight is that girl I met, the man met at the beach. She's staring at me like she really likes me. I think I'm starting to like her too. So let's talk to you. Tondagasa! Yeah, so the man, I think he really likes me. I'm starting to think I could like him too. Anyways, man, there's supposedly one guy who looks all the world go round. No, actually, it's not the guy in front. Only a woman or a kid. Oh, hey, Tessie! Hey! Lucky, the bass player, it definitely looks a lot like Duster. I don't know, there's something different about him. I can't quite put my finger on it. Oh, really? The encore starts soon, after each concert, when the girls get out free DCMT pamphlets. Yeah. See that scary looking guy over there? Thought sure he was head head honcho. But people way, way higher on the ladder than him. Whoa, I guess he has all the ladies, huh? All because you're the general. What's up? Yeah, what do you want? <laughs> you smell like a dog. Like a dog and a kid. Ain't no place for dog smelling kids to come here. Ew, you have such a hairy face. What? Are you talking about me? Because I have an epic mustache, I'll tell you. Because I have an awesome mustache. Right? Right? Yeah. Whatever. So we just got to talk to everybody. And I wonder if we're one now. You know Lucky, a bass player? He totally has a wig. <laughs> yeah, I say he totally has a wig. And woof. The encore won't start if we keep rocking around like this. Let's sit down, okay? Okay. Fine, I guess. Walking like this is exhausting. I know, walk- a dog walking- Oh, hey! Buddy! Thomas! Dude! What would you like to drink, sir? Giggle. Oh, hey! You want... water? <laughs> what? Oh, hey there, Lucas. I was wondering who in the world would order water in a place like this. I mean, come on! Water? <laughs> hey! Violet! Baby! One fizzy soda for this hero boy, and a big city cola for this dog-like friend. It's all me, the great Thomas, of course. Hey! Thomas! She's my lady! One fizzy soda instead of one and one big city cola, coming right up. Alright. Never thought I'd see you here, Lucas. Yeah. Here you are, gentlemen. Shh, listen. But don't change the expression on your face. There's all I need to talk to you about after the DCMC concert's over. After it's over, don't leave. Hang out in the lobby. I'll be there to get you. Alright, see you later. You idiot! Don't change the expression. Okay. Well, enjoy yourselves. Giggle. She's so adorable. Hey, Lucas! What are you and Violet talking about? Never knew you were such a ladies' man. But he's like 12! Lucas is 12! 
Oh, it's starting. Oh, boy. Here we go, guys. Tondagasa! Are you enjoying the show? Oh, my pork! Looks like our time is up, sad to say. Here's one last song for you. Here's King P's theme. Hit it! This is actually a pretty cool song in King P. Hmm. Yeah, rock and roll! Woo! You're the man! Woo! My ears are ringing. I know. I get the feeling. Okay, so. Anyways, what do you gotta say? Hey, Lucas, what are you inviting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you just met for the first time, right? Man, you're good. Again, tw still 12. Anyways. Wasn't the DCMC concert great? It's full of so. Choo choo. Did you, how about a DCMT pamphlet? Okay. Alright, sure. Guess we'll take it anyway. Really popular with diehard fans. You scored yourself a nice swag! Ah, <laughs> uh, that's an overused word nowadays. Alright, so anyways. Violet said that we should wait in the lobby. So, oh, hello. There you are. This way. This way. Okay. Let's follow her. And, whoa, hello. Come on, hurry it up, this way. Okay. I'm gonna go this way, actually no, there's another way! I'm exploring Lauren! Okay, so, anyways, here we have new enemies. If I can back attack them, that would be awesome, they could turn around. Dude, okay, thank you! Here we have... The Slimy Slug. Now these guys aren't really that tough, so... I did train up to level 21, so this shouldn't really be too much of a problem. They only give out like 38 experience. And we got a major look. Okay, so with that major look, you can turn around enemies. So if you didn't get any of the back sprites, um, as, oh, duh, dude. If you didn't get any of the back sprites yet at, for most of the enemies around here, you can go back and do that. Don't worry, you have a chance of getting... Aw, oh, dude! You'd have a chance of getting those back sprites. Or getting many of those. I don't really know. You'll see. Ooh, saltwater gun. Okay, so we'll keep that. That damages mechanical enemies, so... Yeah. Oh, and by the way, I got the dogfish back sprites off screen, so... Yeah. Uh, we got another, another dude's here. Okay. Alright. Die. Thank you. Taste the love. It's not as awesome as Taste the Rainbow, but okay. There. 
You're died. And do this is some nice music. I never got the chance to hear this. You know what? It kind of sounds like Guy Gas's lair. I don't really know. And here we are in Kumatora's bedroom. The secret passage is handy, but I always get covered in mud every time I use it. Not to mention the sticky junk from all the slugs. Ew, sticky junk. Ooh, and the safe frog there. Elf on here. No problem there. Elf on anywhere. Let's get out of here. I'm scared. Oh, hello. Hey, you say something? I didn't say nothing, dude. Oh, it's just a dog. They ain't dogs here, dude. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Got a nice picture. This is some pretty good stuff here. A mini fridge? Or is that a table? I don't know if that's a mini fridge or not. Because that would be awesome. That would be awesome if that was a mini fridge. Another way or not, I wound up in this fancy room. Anyways, go shower, you two. If there's even a hot spring there, that's more your thing. We can talk afterwards. No way, there's important stuff to talk about. You're exhausted and dirty, are you? The shower refreshing right up. Dude, I said no. I know you want to hurry now, but come on, you guys reek. Just go take a shower. Uh, dude, we have important things to talk about. How about you, doggy? Want me to shampoo you up? Oh, uh, that's tempting, but woof. Now be warned, this may get loud. JUST TAKE A DAMN SHOWER ALREADY! Okay. Fine, jeez. And hopefully my mic isn't peeking. After showering, the three conversed at great length, as almost as if, like, almost as if feeling the three year gap that separated them. They discussed the rescued monkey. They discussed the hummingbird egg from Osohei Castle, and how it went missing. They discussed the fact that Duster, that one of the DCMC members, appears to be an amnesic Duster. And they discussed the mysterious army that had radically transformed Tazmili Village. As if assembling the jumbled pieces of a jigsaw puzzle, they told each other what they knew and put their thought to put their thoughts together. The coming battle will not be easy. This, more than anything, they all knew too well. I want to be stronger. It was what around it was at around this time that Lucas truly began to have such feelings. Alright, so this is actually kind of similar to the coffee break from Mother 2 or Earthbound, but Don't worry, there's plenty of nostalgia left to see. And that's how I finally managed to sneak myself in here. But you know what? She never explained how she got into the club anyway. I'll never find out the hummingbird game until Duster regains his memory. At this rate, there's no telling when the pigs will get their hands on it. Lucas, see Duster and try talking to him. Maybe he'll remember if he sees you two. There are guards outside. They're not exactly bad guys, but I don't want them to make things game more complicated. Secret door! Climb this ladder and get to the attic. You can get into Duster's room from there. It's not the most direct route to it, but you're less likely to be caught. I'll get the DCMC members together. I'll explain the situation to them too. See you in a bit. Alright. So. This game, apparently, is the only game to have an attic for a dungeon. I swear, I swear this is not fake. This is real. An attic. A dungeon. Isn't that just weird? Anyways, though, let's talk to this mouse. I'm also greedy and love to collect things. Alright, so this mouse here sells pretty good stuff. Like, he sells the better stick, and I, I'm full of inventory. I should probably sell some junk. Um, Actually, let's give the doggy biscuit to... Let's give the doggy biscuit to... No, let's not equip the doggy biscuit. Let's give the doggy biscuit to Boney because it's only for no not throw it away there let's also give Boney the salt water gun not give yourself you idiot yeah idiot um 
Uh, let's get the bread world to bony, I guess. All right. So, anyways, here are the mice sells so pretty good stuff. Here you got the better stick, but there is a chance you could get a good stick from the squawking sticks, I think. So, I'm gonna actually buy this and equip it and sell the easy grip stick. All right. So here. He also sells a made you look, so you'll get plenty of chances to turn the enemies around. But what's really useful is that this mouse sells pencil rockets, so that's a really good item to have. It's very, very good. Anyway, so, last thing I want to do is there's an item guy over there. Let's actually deposit some stuff. And I like the music in here. Um, oh jeez, Bony doesn't have anything. Um, let's, um, let's get rid of this trivia card because we don't need it. At least not yet. We don't need it just yet. Let's get rid of the DCMC pamphlet, or deposit it, rather. Um, I don't think I really need to deposit anything else. Alright, the gods are watching you guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so in here is the attic guide, so you can find your way around the attic. And I believe the second ladder in the middle is where you're supposed to go. But we're going to stop the episode right here. Alright, so on the next episode of Let's Play Mother 3, we're going to go deeper into this attic dungeon thing and see if we can find Duster's room. Alright, so... I will see you guys on the next time. Bye. I think I may do some more training first, but who knows. Anyways, bye. This song is awesome.